Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the top signs and symptoms of diabetic neuropathy you never knew. Nowadays a lot of people think that neuropathy is just normal and alone on your feet but neuropathy is more than that, there are many signs that you don't know that is diabetic neuropathy. Let's talk about this now, so before you change the subject, I would like to encourage you to get your diabetes information in the description below to win one of our diabetes ebook program Diabetes Freedom. Many diabetics talk about their symptoms and I say neurosis, they make me feel like I like it. Yes, it's diabetic neuropathy. That you know people think diabetic neuropathy is just some kind of paralysis on your feet and take in B12 and you'll be fine. That's not how it really works. So diabetic neuropathy, it's neuropathy, yes so this affects your nerves. So what kind of nerve are you? Now you have sensory nerves, you have motor nerves, and now you have autonomic nerves depending on reality. Most of these nerves are affected at the same time, but the presentation of these affected nerves will vary. And you need to understand that, because you understand there are treatments for these signs and symptoms. Symptoms but it is important for you to understand that you are experiencing the complications of diabetes and it is time to take action and control these blood sugar levels. So now let's get started. Sensory neuropathy is the most common, the most common because it occurs earliest. Sometimes it actually happens even before diabetes develops, even in the pre-diabetes stage some people manifest with diabetic neuropathy sensation. Now you may feel like extremely painful to the touch, you can feel numbness. Tingling. All of these sensations are third or possibly like something crawling all over you, especially starting at your leg you know and then starting to walk towards your leg. These are sensations, so we talked about three things that are extremely sensitive to the touch where we talked about numbness and tingling and sometimes it can be a burning pain. Also now what about good motor function? When you talk about motor function, you're talking about an active nerve, which means the nerve that goes from your brain to the last place where when you want to hold something, when you want to touch into something where the motor nerves work properly. So it basically gives you the power to do something that drives your muscles to work. The effect is right, so you won't be able to walk properly, so if you have a balance problem it's really both the senses and the water, because when we're walking, we constantly feel like nothing under our feet. Our space on the floor as you know, and then we also feel our place in that space, so we feel it and then every time we touch, we move based on on that feeling. But if you have motor dysfunction, you will lose your balance, because it is a concerted effort. Sometimes people will say that not only are my legs weak but I can't lift them, I can't really walk. You know, muscle dysfunction sometimes actually affects individual nerves, but most of the time affects both, we call bilateral or bilateral. Muscle weakness can develop as well as another common thing that muscle cramps happen, especially at night. That's because your nerves work for no reason and you get cramps and that's a very typical sign of diabetic neuropathy. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this channel so far, and I hope you've subscribed.